Hey guys, this is Zero's Video Games and Arcade Tours here, and I would like to show you guys another surprise today. I've been waiting for this item for about a year now, and it's finally here. Let's go ahead and open this up. Take a look inside. <laughs> and here's the surprise. See? As they promised, a box within a box within another box. Which is a good thing. Now, this is good shipping right here. New Wave Toys, you guys. If you guys order anything from New Wave Toys, they will take care of your item. Now, you don't have to worry about, about it being destroyed, smashed, or anything. Plenty of cushion. And this one's needs to be opened by knife again. Take this one out of here. Get this box out of the way. First box is over with. Now we have another box. Ta-da! Looks like it's a little squashed, but I think that should be okay. <laughs> this is what I've been waiting for. Now, these are not your centipedes that you can get in the Walmart. This is an official MDF wood and die cast metal item. As close as you can get to the real, real full size arcade, but in mini form. Caution, do not load or transport package if it's damaged. Lithium neon battery. I'm gonna have to charge the battery up since they said that the battery is currently 0% uh, because of safety reasons, so they leave it uncharged and you're gonna have to charge it yourself. Which is fine. Anyway, here it is. Wow, would you look at that? It's amazing. Wow, it's a little bigger than I thought. Saves high scores. Actually, saves scores. Save high scores. Official arcade ROM. Real wood cabinet. Wow, would you look at that? 11.8 inches tall. Metal coin door, stash door, official Atari product, real trackball controller. Ooh.
the fellows. Wow, this is high quality, high quality box right here. <laughs> the box itself is high quality. Can you believe that? So nice. Look at that. Let's go ahead and open this. Oh, okay. It looks like one of those box that opens from this laying down. The coffin has been opened. And now for Count Sintaki. Wow. You guys gotta pick a look at this. This is what you find when you first open it. Ooh, look at that. Oh my goodness. So beautiful. Here's the booklet. User manual. Very high colored looks like the USB cord type B oh and look at there are a few coins inside too you see that you can actually insert these coins into the cabinet to play ain't that cute little mini 25 cent coins I'm gonna set the camera down so I can use two hands on this. <clears throat> this is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Wow. This is real MDF wood, guys. It feels good. It feels really good. It's not your typical um, uh, domestic store cabinet. This is a real, oh my gosh. MDF wood, wooden cabinet in mini form. Oh man, I'm so excited. Oh man, beautiful. Wow. Whoa. You hear that? You can tell it's not plastic. You know it's it's not plastic, guys. Oh my gosh. Atari replicate amusements amusement machine. Item number RA80001. Centipede upright. Zero four three six fourteen hundred. I backed this Kickstarter actually. That's why I got it cheaper. I got it for a hundred and ten dollars. Right now it's being sold. It's being being listed for one sixty. Let's go ahead and take a look at the buttons. Ain't that neat? It feels good. The little trackball here. Oh my gosh, it's a little heavy. The trackball is actually a little heavy. Wow, it feels good. I thought it was going to be something really plasticky, but it feels more like a marble, I would say. That's the best I could describe it. Like a mini marble. Maybe that is what they used. But whatever it is, it feels real good. And it feels like it has some weight on it. Wow. This is amazing. Even the little button right here has a little, a little, uh, what do you call that? The button is not flat. It actually has like a little, you know, a little uh, curve onto it, which makes it feel like a Suzo Hap button. This is amazing. Look at this. This is legit. Charge before play. Mm -hmm. Here are the volume buttons, and I guess the LED indicator for uh, when it's uh, 
charging or while it's on. I'm not sure. This part right here opens, but I'll show you guys that maybe later on. Here's the charging port of the uh, universal USB-B charger. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on charging for me. And I'll see you guys later. Here are the... Uh, this, this, uh, this little door actually opens. I'm going to have to need two hands for this. <laughs> I'll figure that out later. Welcome back, guys. I have been charging for about 45 minutes now. I think it's about ready for a test. You guys remember this one, right? This one is the uh, Walmart edition from Basic Fun. It's not bad. But, oh my god, look at that. Looking at it just makes me smile. <laughs> Can't stop smiling when I see this thing. It's beautiful. Okay. Look at this. Oh my goodness. This thing opens too. I'm gonna need two hands. <laughs> this is the coin door. It actually has a little has a little uh, space in there you can store maybe uh, money. Not not maybe not coins because you won't be able to reach it, but uh, you can store uh, dollar bills. And these are pressable too. This is for uh, credit. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on for the first time. But I'm gonna first remove this right here to reveal. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at the quality of this. Okay, let's go ahead and turn it on. Hopefully you guys can see it from this view. Okay, to turn it on, it says to hold the power button for five seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and hold it. Volume is all the way up. Anyway, the uh, this is the LED indicator. When it's red, it means still charging. Once it's finished charging, it will turn green. I want to go ahead and turn it on. Now. Hold it. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. And that's the introduction. Ooh, look at that marquee. Replicate Amusements presents. Atari, under license from Atari. Oh my god. This is worth the wait, guys. Oh, started playing right away. <laughs> button it's auto fire it's pretty loud too 
can imagine the speaker in here has got to be a little louder than the uh, basic funds editions. They will be making more of these. The next one coming is uh, Tempest. Of course, I have uh, backed that Kickstarter already. So I should be receiving it maybe, if not later this year, early next year. It also saves your scores too. So. Look at the spider, it's a lot faster now. Oh my gosh. Look at that, and just look at the quality. 14 credits, huh? Wow. It wasn't even on when I was pressing the credits. Don't tell me it was recording every credit I pressed. I wonder if there's a reset button. Looks like I see a little black. I'm not sure if it's a reset button. This little over here. If you could just stick like a pointer into there. Maybe there's a button for a reset. I'm not sure. But it saves your scores and it's two players as well. This is awesome. I'm entering the uh, menu right now. Control the backlight with the uh, player one. With the control the backlight with the uh, with the player one and the player two button. Up, player one for going up, player two for going down. I'm gonna go ahead and leave you in the middle where they have it. Marquee light, you can turn that off and on using the fire button. Off. Oh, um, of course you want to leave it on. And this is for the track ball. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at medium. Fire button. So there you have it. Centipede. Thank you guys for watching if you guys want to see more of this stuff go ahead and subscribe like and uh, if you have any questions or anything you want to say compliments go ahead and leave it down on the bottom thank you guys for tuning in till next time